Professor Diaz here, and in this video I want to just, again, emphasize the difference between change in demand and change in quantity demanded. This is a big deal, change in demand versus change in quantity demanded, and there is a big difference, and the, the, the verbiage is important, um, and there could be questions because they that, that hinge on understanding this concept. So I want to make sure that you understand this concept. A change in demand is when there's an overall change in the desire, the demand, the, the want of any given product. Now remember, the demand curve is the aggregate demand at every price point. At all these different price points, people will buy all these different quantities. And you put those all together, that equals the demand curve. So when I talk about a change in demand, I'm saying the whole curve is shifting, this being an increase of demand, or the whole curve shifts this way and this being a decrease in demand because we're going closer to the origin. Now, sometimes the price can change. The price can go from here to here, which means that we're just sliding along this one curve. So the demand curve, the demand is not changing. We're just having a change in quantity from Q1 to Q2, right? or price could go from here to here, right? Now we've got an increase in price, which would slide us up the demand curve like this, right? Which would change our quantity from here to here. These, this is a decrease in quantity demanded, not a change in demand. This would be, a, that, that last thing would be a change in quantity demanded, okay? So it's, it's extremely important to understand movements along the line, quantity demanded movements of the whole line, change in demand, okay? Demand versus quantity demanded. Make sure you understand the difference, and if you don't, um, go back to the book, watch the videos again, or let me know, and uh, I'll see what I can do to help you make sure you understand this.